What's up, guys? I'm sorry that uh, I sound sick right now. I caught something last Thursday, and I went to a conference this past weekend, and it kind of just developed into today. The weather in Ohio is so so horrible right now. Like it's it, it was 80 degrees as of three like two three days ago, and now it's back down to like 20 30 degrees. So it's ridiculous, but let's get into the weekly reset guide video. So obviously Iron Banner is here. Now the cool thing about Iron Banner, it is 6v6 now. It's not 4v4. So if you're thinking like, oh man, it's packed on 4v4, 6v6 is about to be huge. It's about to be crazy. 12 players, dude, there's going to be supers. There's going to be there's going to be a lot of ores created, especially for people. Multi-kills people are going to be flanking like crazy. It's going to be it's going to be a pretty cool experience, to be honest. Like I hope uh, they work this out. I hope they figure out, hopefully know the spawns are completely screwed up. So... We don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Let's get into the Nightfall, actually. I want to know what the Nightfall is and figure out what the loot is for. So it looks like we have the Arms Dealer uh, Nightfall Strike. Obviously, it's either Fallen or Cabal. And the Fallen only have Arc and Solar Damage. Fallen actually have all three damage types because of the Servitor has the Void. But it's what actually... I think the Cabal have a third one, too, with their Centurion. Uh, it does Void Damage. So I... It's kind of hard to pick which one you want to do. I think, I think I'd personally go with either... Uh, I think I'd probably go with Void, mostly, just because most of the Cabal guys have those arc shotguns, Fallen have a lot of arc damage stuff, Cabal have those their uh, slug rifles that do solar, and that's what they mostly have, so I'd probably go Void this time, and I think the Arms Dealer uh, Strike exclusive loot is an exotic sparrow, so that's pretty freaking awesome. Let's move on to the Flashpoint, so it looks like the Flashpoint this time around is IO, so essentially all you have to do is complete public events. doesn't look like there's any happening right now, but you can defeat public events, and there are some extra... Uh, I would say high tier bosses that spawn uh, in all these locations. They'll have some weird name or whatever, but if you take those guys down, those will also go toward your uh, flashpoint percentage. But I think that's all we have in the director here. Let's head to the tower. All right, we're here at Cade first to find the treasure maps. Obviously, the flashpoint is IO, so you can pick up the scout report for IO. Oh, that's Mercury. This is IO. If you don't have a ghost that highlights loot caches on IO, this will do it for you. It'll last four hours. And yeah, let's pick up these treasure maps. So. Just a reminder that Io has a lot of caves, and they have a lot of, uh, I would say, high areas as well. So if you think you're on a chest and you can't find it, it's probably either above or below you. So keep that in mind. Looks like we have one, two, three, four, five. We don't have one all the way down here by the Endless Gate. I know they usually have one down here, but you shouldn't be too bad to find, especially this one. Uh, these ones might be a little difficult. This one might be a little difficult, and definitely this one down here, trying to climb this little pyramidium crap over here. But yeah, so that is the treasure maps this time around. All right, we're here at Icor. Let's check out her meditation missions this week. So basically, you can replay campaign missions at a harder level, and you can get this gear that you get at the be beginning of the Destiny 2 campaign, but now it is legendary. So you have access to this gear and some other gear as well. But let's check it out. Looks like we have the combustion mission, the chosen mission, and the deep storage mission from Curse of Osiris. Can't forget about the Raid Banner, Benedict 9940, always carrying Callus's weapon and gears for us. Looks like he has the helmet from the Eater of Worlds Raid, the Prestige Gauntlets, the Normal Raid Chest, the Eater of Worlds Leg Armor, and the Eater of Worlds Class Item. And lastly, you have the Eater of Worlds Shotgun. It is pretty good, Zenith of your kind. It is then the Hawthorne's Full Auto Archetype. Obviously, rapid fire frame, corkscrew rifling, barrel shroud rifle, barrel for that most range. They have pulse monitor, auto loading holster. I usually go with that. And then you have threat detector, increased reload stability, handling when enemies are in close proximity. I use this thing in the crucible and PvP, uh, not crucible and PvP, but crucible and PvE uh, very often. It's really good. I highly suggest using, it, especially if you like using Hawthorne's full auto. This thing performs just as good. Looks like we have Eververse. Looks like I have something. I don't know why I would have something. I don't think I've completed anything. Do I get a? Do I get a cute little brand engram or whatever they're called? Is it going to pop up? No, I do not. I don't know why they had that, but essentially you can purchase anything with Bright Dust, which you can get Bright Dust from dismantling anything that you get from any of these items. So it looks like she has the Confused Emote, the Floss Dance Emote, the Skedaddle Sparrow, the Mainsail Royal Ship, and then the Symbiosis Weapon Ornament for the Sturm. I really like this. I feel like it makes it more accurate. I don't know why but it looks awesome. It looks pretty cool. And then you have the Beware of the Red Legion for the Skyburner's Oath Scout Rifle. It's literally the Cabal, like rifle, slug rifle. It's pretty awesome. Uh, full auto, if you're not aimed in, well, it shoots faster when you're not aimed in. And then I don't, I don't need to get into that. It's not a review, but it looks like she's also selling the leg armor for the Optimacy set. The Optimacy set was the set before uh, the Curse of Osiris set, which is the Omega Mechanos. So you might not have another chance to get these considering I haven't seen them yet. Uh, I, I would say released, which is pretty cool. So you can actually get that. It looks like she also has the Two of Diamonds Ghost Shell, the Ghost White Transmat Effect, the Dawn and Dust Shader, love the shader, the Metro Shift Shader, and obviously you have the Fire Team Medallion, which you get 
uh, increased gains if you're in a fire team doing stuff, and then obviously you complete a strike or a crucible, mat crucible match with these boons, uh, everybody gets an Eververse reward. Obviously, Iron Banner is here. Lord Saladin is back in the tower with some stuff. This is a good chance for you to earn those last season two ornaments and gear if you don't have it yet. So what's really cool is that every single weapon from season two is now inside the loot pool of the Iron Engram. So you can get every single season two thing, whether you're missing, the I know I'm missing the grenade launcher and the shotgun, which I mean, it doesn't really bother me, but I'm a collector kind of guy. So you can obviously get the ghost, the ship and the sparrow, have a chance to get all those things. And also get a chance to get all these ornaments back. I earned all of them, the first Iron Banner. I think it was the, oh, what was it? The chest armor where you had to get uh, grenade and melee kills, man. It was ridiculous. Obviously, they have the feature weapons. I'm not going to get any of these because uh, you'll know which ones are good. You'll know which ones are bad. This one is probably the best one, the Ormond's Anvil. you got to get this thing. It is a kinetic Uriel's gift. It's, uh, it's like Origin Story except without... Rampage, but still very accurate has a very long range on this weapon. Iron Banner is back, baby. 6v6. I'm ready to ready to see if we can make some big plays. All right, guys, come to the end of the video. If you want to help support me, there'll be a link below to say best way to support me. I'll take you to a four minute video. It's not Patreon or anything like that. I believe it's a lot better in Patreon, and I believe you guys get a lot more out of it as well. If you want to check that out, awesome. But if you don't know how to do that, you can always like and subscribe to the channel as well. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time.